Hello and welcome to the Electric Bike Report. My name is Pete and this is the Rad Power Bikes Rad Runner electric utility bike in for testing and review. This is a pretty interesting e-bike because it combines some of the attributes of a moped with the versatility of a cargo bike. You've got uh, on the back here, this is actually an optional passenger package where the seat goes on the rear rack. It's all welded into the frame here. You've also got uh, foot pegs that can come down for the passenger to ride on. Uh, there's also the option for a kid's seat back here, a bunch of different other uh, accessory options to carry cargo. Um, so a lot of versatility on the back uh, area of this cargo bike, as well as the option for a center console box in the step through area and front rack uh, with basket and such for carrying cargo on the front of the bike. So a lot of versatility with this bike. Got the 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium battery just behind the seat tube there. 750 watt Bafang geared rear hub motor. The Kenda tires that have uh, been designed in partnership with Red Power Bikes. So a lot of really cool features and uh, this bike retails for $12.99. And uh, this is a video overview, and I'll have the full review for you at electricbikereport.com. And there's a link to that in the notes for this video. So uh, anyways, we'll get right into the details. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the frame here. This is a 6061 aluminum frame, and uh, has some pretty nice details. Like right here at the head tube, there's these four bolt connections for attaching a front rack that can provide a place for a basket or just carrying cargo right uh, on the rack. And uh, just here at the head tube, there's the connection of the kind of the swooping down tube that's also been reinforced with this really large gusset plate on either side of the head tube. So it really provides a solid uh, connection. And also uh, within that area is some internal cable routing for that uh, cable protection, as well as just you know keeping the looks of the bike really clean. There's an attachment for a water bottle cage. Um, but that can also help with the attachment of the center console box. It's a cargo box that can fit within that uh, step-through area. So it's a really nice feature for carrying cargo uh, right in the middle of the bike. And um, also right here, taking a look at the step-through area, this is a reinforcing tube that runs from the, the down tube here back to the seat tube. And uh, it's about 16 and a half inches above the ground, so it provides a really low step-through area. It's also pretty wide too, so it's just very easy to get on and off this bike. Um, and then uh, coming back here, this is that 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium battery just behind the seat tube. And the rear rack is all built into the frame here. You can see the uh, large aluminum tubing and thick welds right there. And uh, on this particular bike is the passenger package. So um, you've got the seat here where the passenger can sit there. Um, you can also install a kid's seat or maybe a, a flat platform to carry uh, more cargo. Also a basket option there. Um, but then as part of the passenger package, this is a foot peg that folds out so the passenger can put their feet um, on either side of the frame there. And uh, just, you know, a lot of versatility with the, uh, the rear rack system that's uh, all built into the overall structure of the frame. Also with the passenger package, you get these uh, kind of wheel skirts that help to protect the uh, passenger's clothing from getting into the spokes. Um, and then also another thing that's not included in the base model is the fenders that uh, are on front and rear on this particular bike. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, a lot of nice details on the frame, uh, kind of coming back here. Nice uh, construction and uh, just very solid ride feel overall. And on the front of the bike is a steel fork. So one of the really unique things about the uh, Rad Runner is that you can have the seat here at the uh, higher height for, you know, pretty efficient pedaling. But then you can also lower it down to uh, match the height of the uh, passenger seat on the back there. So if you want to ride at the same height as a passenger, kind of moped style, uh, that's an option too. Okay, so let's take a look at the drivetrain here. So first of all, these are the Welgo platform pedals, have a nice large grippy surface. And then there's the 52 tooth chainring here that has uh, double chainring guards uh, to keep the chain on the chainring and to help to provide a little bit of uh, pant leg protection. And then that drives back to the 16 tooth cog here on the back. 
And uh, this is a single speed mechanical uh, drivetrain for, you know, overall simplicity. Uh, the bike has four different levels of pedal assist as well as the throttle. And the throttle really helps to kind of supplement, um, especially for, you know, getting going. It really is helpful that way as well as uh, cruising along at some of the top speeds. Um, and speaking of that, there's the 750 watt geared rear hub motor back here. It provides up to 80 Newton meters of torque and uh, assist up to 20 miles per hour. So this is a class two electric bike. Here's a look at the 48 volt, 14 amp hour lithium battery pack that has uh, Samsung cells. That's 672 watt hours of capacity. And uh, that's pretty impressive. And you'll see it did pretty well in the range test overall in the full review. This is the charge port here at the top. And uh, the battery can be charged on or off the bike. So on the left side of the bike is the battery lock. So there's two keys supplied. You can unlock it like that. And then to remove it, just pull the battery up and off the bike like that. There's a look at the battery attachment there. And then to reinstall, it's basically the same in reverse. Just uh, line it up with the battery attachment and then slide it into place, turn the key, and then just double check Make sure it's good and you're all set. So here's a closer look at the handlebar area. So first of all, on the left side is this ergonomic grip. It has a little bit of a wing for wrist support and then the front uh, Tektro brake lever. Both brake levers have this sort of rubber grippy surface here and then the built-in bell right here. And this is the combined control pad and display. So you've got information on your battery level right here. That These are the pedal assist levels. So you cycle through that uh, up to four here with the plus button and then down with the minus button and then there's uh, zero, which is no assist. There's also the uh, light uh, button here, so that turns on the front and rear lights that uh, run off the e-bike battery. Then there's the on-off button right there. And over here is the rear uh, Tektro disc brake lever. And then there's the twist grip throttle, so you can use this uh, in addition to the pedal assist for a boost or on its own without pedaling if you want. And then the uh, right uh, ergonomic grip there. So braking is handled by the Tektro Ares mechanical disc brakes. These have 180 millimeter rotors on the front and the back of the bike. And uh, this one is attached here to that Bothang uh, rear hub motor. And uh, these have a nice solid stopping feel and provide uh, quite a bit of power. So one of the big highlights of the Rad Runner are these uh, tires that have been developed with Rad Power Bikes and Kenda. And they're the Kenda K-Rad tires. They're a 20 inch by 3.3 inch wide tire. They have a nice off-road tread that uh, still works really well for just general around town riding. Um, they have such a large tread patch that it really provides a stable ride feel and uh, also a lot of air volume so it can help to uh, absorb a lot of the bumps and cracks in the road. They also have a um, sort of a decay shield that helps to prevent uh, punctures as well as uh, reflective striping on both sides of the tire. So these compact and really wide tires just provide a really stable ride feel for the Rad Runner. Here's a look at the stock accessories that come with the Rad Runner. There's the LED headlight that runs off of the e-bike battery, the built-in bell into the brake lever there, the double leg kickstand for a very stable parking. And on the back is the LED tail light that runs off of the e-bike battery. It has a solid and flashing mode as well as the brake light feature that when you engage the brake lever, the rear light lights up. All right, so that's the overview of the Rad Power Bikes Rad Runner electric utility bike. Make sure you check out electricbikereport.com for the full review, and there's a link to that in the notes for this video. And that includes a bunch of detailed pictures, specifications, ride characteristics, range test results, pros, cons, and overall thoughts, all at electricbikereport.com.